Hello, Jimmy here from Construction Corks. Today I'm doing a video doing part one of how to catch a crane twin. This could be for anyone. This could be for um, general public who wonder how we manage to drive the cranes, or it could be if you're wanting to get into the industry, you're new to driving cranes, or you want to get into driving cranes and you want to know how it's done. Um, as you can imagine, with a crane, any type of crane, you've got a lot of voice rope. You know, it's quite difficult to control that, which is either hook block, you can call it a hook block, or it can be the load attached. Have to control that and get it on your target where you want it, that it's swinging around. That's called the crane swing. You've got to try and get that still onto your target. So that's my hand. I'm going to try and get that onto my target. So the idea is to get that plumb. Um, it naturally wants to rest in a plumb position. So you can leave it swinging pages and it will eventually go to a plumb position. Um, I did have a plumb line, I've been looking for it everywhere, an actual plumb line with a plumb weight, but I can't find it for the life of me, so I've just had to come up with this. Um, so, the basic idea is, you've got your jib, which is my arm, but, yeah, down. So you've got the hoist, you've got the hook block, or the or the load. Once it starts swinging, the idea is to slew. This is a slew swing, side to side. Is to slew so that you get the give directly above it, and now it's plumb. You go the other way. You might not get it in one. That's killed it. You can call it. You can call it kill the crane swing. You can call it catch the swing, um, correct the swing, whatever you call it, I call it catch the swing. Um, you might not get it in one, so if you miss it the first time, you get it on the way back the second time. That's the slew swing. To catch a jib swing, you, it depends on whether you've got a, a luffing jib or a, a, a trolley on the saddle. So basically, go outwards and get it on top of it, or go inwards. It's killed it. Now, it's easier to catch a, to swing with a heavy load. So this is quite a light load. Here I've got heavy load. So let's do a comparison. <coughs> so you can get, by getting both swinging at the same time, without tying them up, You'll notice that the lighter load will swing much faster than the heavier load, which makes this one more difficult to catch than this one. Heavier loads are a lot more easier to catch because they swing slower. That's, that's killed it there. So that's how to catch them. Um, what I would advise is to not catch the swing towards uh, an obstruction. So he could be an obstruction, he could be, I'm not using for this, so I'll get excited. But you know something's happening. Boom. Actually, yeah. Down. Down. Okay. My little sister. We'll use this. So this is going to be a building. Uh, we call that the target there. So this is the wall of the building. That's the top. What you don't want to do, I'm going to be low, below the top level. What you don't want to do is catch it this way towards the obstruction. Because see how close that is? You might hit it. What you want to do is to catch it the other way. Like that. Out of the way. Come. And here. Sit. Sit. Thank you. Good. Right. So, <clears throat> what you want to do is catch it. If you if you catch it that way, make sure you're away from the obstruction, and then you can gently bring it over to where you want to land it. 
or to make sure you're above the level of the, the instruction. So in case you do overshoot, it doesn't matter, you won't collide. So there you go. That is on the ground version. Next we're going to be up the crane. I'll just show you what I just did up the crane and then uh, tomorrow's video will be part two, uh, minimising the crane swing. So basically, be able to drive the crane for sleeping in us. You'll be able to drive the crane um, without creating a big swing. You're going to min minimise them. That'll be part two tomorrow. So I'm going to show you a jib swing first. I haven't got a load on waiting for chains. Um, I've got the hook block lower than the cab so that it's easier to see the jib swing because when it's level with the cab it's sometimes harder to see the, the backwards and forwards motion. So um, I'm just going to jib forwards in three just to create a bit of a swing. let go of the hoist now, it's swinging forwards, I'm going to come back or let it come back, get back in three, and that's killed it pretty much, just waiting to see if there is any more of a bit, it might be a little bit so I'll go back in two or one just to give it, just to kill it off completely. Now because I jigged out in three, um, that's the reason why I jib back in into it because it's just, it's the same speed. Theoretically, it should kill it. Not always. Um, the other way is to jib out gradually, like one, and then two, and then three, and then four as you go out, and then come back down as you get near your destination. So it's useful to know your destination. Come back down the gears, start slowing it down rather than trying to kill it in four at the end and struggle with it. Now show you some some slew swing. I'm gonna bring the hoist up for that. Change the angle of the front camera. So it'll be easy to see from up here. get the uh, hook just above the horizon, be easy for you to see. So, left or right, let's go right. So the hook stayed there, I've let go now and it's coming back swinging. See that swing? <coughs> So I'm going to go left a bit now to catch it. I slewed right in two. And now I've just slewed left in two just to kill it off. Yeah. So if I create a bigger one. Go three now. Go back again just to make it even bigger. That should pull it all the way back, actually. So that's a slightly bigger swing now. So you swing out to the left, it's off centre. So now I'm going to go right as it comes back in three and get over the top of it. And that's killed it doesn't kill it then you just do it again maybe in a slower speed like two or one uh, until it's dead so there you go give swing and slew swing